Captain's log. It is T minus 21 days until my 24th birthday. And I want to try to be more sustainable. I said try. I'm not trying to spend $600 on a brand new look, but I do want something nice. I've decided that I am going to thrift my outfit for my birthday this year. I'm not trying to become the face of the sustainability movement, but I am trying to be the face of being an intentional shopper. Let's hit the field. Let's go thrifting. I think we're gonna go to Chance and I'll let you guys know how it goes. Okay, see you when I get there. Ooh, alrighty. Well, we're in the car now and I just realized that I don't have any gas. So I have to go get gas right now, which is a task that, fun fact about me, I actually just despise doing but it's fine, we're gonna go do it. And then we're gonna head over to Chance Vintage and see what we can see. And we'll go from there. But let's go get some gas because I decided to wait until the very last second to uh, even think about refilling it. So let's go. Okay now, we've just arrived at Chance Vintage and lucky me, I don't know if you guys know how rare this is in LA, I pulled up to this place and got a parking spot immediately. I am from LA and I am also the type of person like if the parking is too too bad I'm either gonna Uber or I don't want to drive there at all, like I don't want to go. So I was a little scared about this because last time I came I came with an entire crew and we all came in like a van so it was like we only needed one spot. I mean, I only needed one spot this time. Anyways, I digress. What am I talking about? I'm rambling. My point is, I found a great spot immediately. And I didn't think that would happen, especially at this hour. Because right now, it is currently 3.48 p.m. on a Saturday. So, I'm pretty excited about that. Now, I need to go in here. I need to start filming. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to talk. I don't know if I'm going to do a voiceover or if I'm just going to kind of show you guys the outfits and kind of show you what I'm picking out. But I got to see if it's going to be like awkward. I haven't filmed talking in public in so long. <laughs> so this might be a little nerve wracking. But you know what? That's fine. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to walk to the place and we're going to get shopping. We're not going to beat around the bush. It's fine. All right, let's go inside. Okay, we're out of the car. We have a one minute walk to get to Chance. The lighting is terrible, so I have to do this little intro before we actually get there. But I'm gonna take you along with me and let's see if we can actually find something good for my birthday. I have high hopes. I've got this shirt from here, so let's stay positive. Don't be negative, let's go. And now we are walking up to Chance Vintage. I am so excited. Chance Vintage is located in Burbank and they have the best stuff ever. I went here once when I filmed a video with Junebeam and I am back again today because I remember getting the best pieces. So come on with me and let's see if we can thrift myself a birthday outfit. Guys, they have so much good stuff. Like I'm talking maxi skirts. I'm talking denim. I'm talking ties i'm talking purses i'm talking coats i'm talking fur coats the belts the selection is endless and the crazy thing about it is everything is in such great condition also extra fun fact i literally only find things that are in my style in this store i don't know how they know that but it feels so curated yet it's still affordable yet it's still good for the environment because we're literally reusing people's old clothes and it's great they also have vinyl records, so if you're looking to uh, add to your collection, this is your spot. And there's men's clothing, women's clothing, and they have like a few little accessories in the back. So they're selling this very vintage trunk right here, which, oh my god, it's so cute. And if I needed to go somewhere on vacation, yeah, I would definitely invest in that. Because like, look how cute that is. So I had found a few pieces that I was like, okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and try these on. But first I wanted to show you guys my outfit, show you how cute the inside of these fitting rooms are with their cute little curtains and everything. And now we need to go ahead and get into it. This blouse, spoiler alert, I ended up taking it. And the rest, well, stay tuned and see. I'm showing you my outfit again, just because, I don't know, I guess I'm just conceited. I mean, I do look adorable though. Look at my tie, look how cute I am. 
but let's get into trying on. Let's stay on task. So for this, I absolutely love this blouse. This was one of my best finds. I did end up purchasing this, not gonna lie. And I think it looks so good with the skirt. I was like, this is so cute. I can tie it like this, wear it different ways, and it looks expensive and designer. So I'm absolutely obsessed with her and she definitely came home with me. Then I wanted to give you guys like another angle kind of up top so you could see how good the detailing is on this. It kind of looks like a waffle knit. Like I don't know how to explain it, but it's very old, vintage, designer, having my way, rich wife. And then you can also see the price tag on the skirt at this point. And it's only $24.50 and I'm pretty sure it's real leather. And it looks absolutely phenomenal on me. Like it's so well fitted and honestly some of these pieces look like i already got them tailored so i was really feeling myself i was going in i'm posing i'm giving you hip i'm giving you all of that and i was like yeah i'm gonna have to take her with me so spoiler alert i ended up taking the skirt too moving on okay now we're moving on to this maxi skirt and then this top i loved these pieces i thought i might like them more together but i felt like it was a little bit chaotic like the colors were kind of clashing even though i love to mix prints the colors just weren't working but this top is so cute like i feel like i don't have a ton of going out tops so i feel like this is perfect and then i got the maxi skirt to match with it and it's just long it's fitted it's like a pencil skirt it really gives like boss and ceo and i just love how these colors look on my skin like, together again they're kind of fighting each other but i love the silhouettes together unfortunately it just doesn't actually work in practicality but spoiler alert I also ended up taking these two pieces as well and I promise I said no to something so calm down this set right here I was the most excited about I'm not gonna lie like I think it looks absolutely phenomenal and it's so vintage so cute and I just knew that this was gonna be my birthday outfit but spoiler alert I actually didn't end up taking this one I know it's so cute I literally felt like Michelle Obama or like Jackie Kennedy or something. And I just looked and felt so cute in it. However, I will say it was a little bit ill-fitting in the back and I would have had to get it, get it tailored. Like, I don't know if you can see when I turn around. It makes me feel super cute in like 60s, <laughs> which is why I'm doing my cute little dance. But the back, I just would have to get that tailored and taken in. And I didn't want to spend the effort doing that for my birthday because Part of the reason to be doing this is I want it to be cost effective and sustainable, but yeah, I had to pass on that one. So this one, I'm not gonna lie, I was super sad about leaving this. The absolutely beautiful, I don't know if you can call this lobster class, I guess, maybe, but it was such a beautiful cardigan. The printing is so gorgeous. I love the colors. I love playing on neutral colors in a fun and printed way. So this was so my style and I would have worn it forever, but unfortunately one of the, the second metal class did not work. So I had to pass on that one. And then there was this beautiful top. I think it, I actually, I don't think it was real Chanel. Honestly, I don't know. I'm the worst at authenticating designer. I love the print, love the neutral colors, but it's just way too big. Like realistically, I don't wear my clothing oversized, so there was no need for me to buy something that was gonna fit this large. So I had to go ahead and pass on her, but she's so cute, she's so 90s, and I hope that she found a wonderful, lovely home, because even when I tried to tuck her in, I just was like, this feels obnoxiously large, <laughs> and I can't take her home with me. So there she stayed, and I was pretty sad about it. I kept playing with it, like maybe I can get it somewhere, but I couldn't. So I just came to terms with it and I was like, okay, she's not coming home with me, it's fine. Okay, now this blouse, I am such a sucker for a vintage blouse. <laughs> I've noticed this about myself. I'm getting more and more invested in like really cool vintage blouses that just fit me so well. I love it. I can tie like a little bow in the front and I don't know if you guys remember, in one of my more recent videos, I wore this purple Zara um organza blouse or, or organa i don't know how to say it anyways it was a beautiful purple blouse and it has this huge bow in the front and i've been wanting to find more like that but i have not wanted to spend a bunch of money on them and i'm also trying to get away from fast fashion so as soon as i saw this i was like oh <laughs> you're coming home with me. and that she did and i actually ended up wearing her to work like <laughs> 
literally the next week because look at how it looks on me. You can tell I was feeling myself in this one. Look at how I'm twirling. I'm having a good time. I'm having a moment. I almost didn't want to take her off. So I was like, okay, she's coming up with me for sure. And then for the next one, shocker, another blouse. <laughs> another vintage looking blouse because come on guys, this is my personal style. You know this about me. You know that this is what I'm going to do till the end of time. So of course I took her with me as well. And I don't know if you can see it, but she's actually like green and white polka dots. And I just thought that was like a fun, different way. And then I felt like also too, I could wear this one open and you can see as I get a little bit closer that it's like green and white, but I'll show you guys more of a close up on Instagram, but yeah, I took her because <laughs> I mean, <laughs> look how good I look in it. Look at me. And then last but not least, I had this sweater, which I didn't even bother trying on because I had so much makeup on my face and I would absolutely hate to see someone have tried on a piece in my store and then leave a bunch of brown marks. <laughs> so I didn't try this on because I was like, honestly, I'm probably not going to get it anyway. So I didn't want to ruin their clothes and I just left it. And then there was this actual vintage dress. I think it actually was from what era, whatever era like it looks like it's from. I want to say like 60s, 50s, 40s, something like that. A true vintage piece. I couldn't zip the back because the material that they used has literally no stretch at all. Like if you know anything about constructing pieces in fashion, you have to be very cautious about the materials you use because you literally can't move in certain fabrics. and. This is one of those fabrics. So this was clearly made at a time where it was being cute over comfortability. So I left okay. her. I found so much good stuff. I actually got to speak with the owner that is there and he is so involved in the store. I cannot say enough good things about Chance Vintage. I absolutely love that place. They do these little competitions too where they try to help people who are supporting their business and they give them like credits and stuff. It's like a whole thing. They also have like this thing where you can do a borrowing limit every single month and depending on how much you pay for your monthly membership, you get clothes to borrow every single month in different amounts which is so cool and such a good sustainable idea because I think that helps with overconsumption so much because why buy a bunch of random stuff that you don't need when you can literally just borrow something and then return it and do the same thing next month and the business doesn't hurt from it because you're still giving them a monthly fee. You get cool new outfits to put on your Instagram and to wear around town and someone maybe at some point gets to purchase that piece and love it long term and it doesn't go to waste. So I love this place. I found my birthday outfit <laughs> and it fits me like a glove. I am absolutely in shock. Unfortunately, the pants, I stepped on them a few times when I was talking to the owner because I was not paying attention. And I went like this, kind of dragged them because I was just caught up in like his story and how he was telling me like, everything about how he started this place and it's such a great place. I'm gonna go ahead and put it up here and I'm gonna link them below because I'm a fan. But moral of the story is I got my birthday outfit and I'm going back to that store because I can now confidently say that as of right now, that is my favorite vintage store. So I don't wanna show you guys the outfit just yet, but I'm gonna keep this series up and in a future video, I will let you see what I got because I got some good finds that I wanna share with you, but also, more importantly, what we came for. I got my birthday outfit. Okay. Well, I just wanted to share that with you guys. And uh, don't say I never put you on to a cool vintage store. Hey, I'm no expert. I'm just a fashion icon. As always, I'm so thankful for my community. Bye.